everybody, it's Tigger. How are you doing? That is great. Um, today's episode is a story time, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Today's story is the day I caused a scene in the classroom and walked out. So let's get into the story. So this story starts in middle school. So in middle school, I was with a really good teacher and I was really great and everything. But every year we ended up having this thing where the principals would end up splitting the students into different classes. I think it was because there was more uh, students in other classes. But still, this ended up happening every year and I hated it. So this is pretty much what happened. Okay, students, we need to start switching you guys to other classes. So uh, we're just going to get the teachers to call your names and we're going to split you guys into those classes. So yes, when your name is called, please go up to that teacher. Thank you. So one by one, students would be being called and going to their teachers that the, the teachers were calling their names to. I was like, I really hope I get the teacher that I really like and that I'm still with. I hope my name doesn't get called. And then my name got called and I got put with a teacher called Mrs. Schreier. <sighs> So at that point, I was really emotional. So I was like trying to hold back my tears because I really liked the teacher I was with, but now I was being switched and it sucked. So I ended up getting put in her class for several, several, several months. And I really hated her. She was mean. She didn't help me, so whatever. Um, anyway, so this story starts off with all the students were working really quietly because she wanted the students to work quietly because that's how it was. We weren't even allowed to talk to our friends. So I guess me and my friends kind of broke the rules at the table and we were kind of being loud. <laughs> Crack her nose again. Sure. Ew, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys be more quiet or I'll split you up. So for some reason, we didn't care after she told us that. And we were still goofing off and laughing and stuff, but then Jocelyn ended up laughing too loudly and I got in trouble. Like, really? <laughs> ah. Do you know what, Autumn? Come up here and sit with me. So this is the part where I started acting very immature, so brace yourself. Do you know what? Screw you. Do you know what? Screw all of you. So after this, I was really emotional, crying, running through the hallways. So then I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go to my favorite teacher that I haven't seen for months now. So that's what I did. <laughs> so I went over to my old teacher and I told her what happened. And she's like, oh, okay. Do you know what? You can just stay in my classroom. Um, Go and find someone to hang out with and just hang out for a bit. Oh, thank you so much. So when I walked away, apparently she went and called... Mrs. Stryer to tell her that I was in her class. So I found one of my old friends that I used to hang out with and then we colored for a bit and drew. So then after school came, okay? And then I had to go back to my class to grab my stuff because we had our hangers in the classroom. So when I got back to the classroom, my teacher asked for my agenda, which we had in middle school. I don't know if you guys ever had one, but it was like this book that we had to write like what we did in class and stuff in. It was really stupid and boring and I'm so glad they ended it near high school. So glad. Anyway, so my teacher took my agenda, wrote that I ended up running out of her classroom and said a bunch of mean things. So, so I was really mad about that, but it didn't really matter because by the time I got home, I scribbled it out. <laughs> uh, she also called home, but I also deleted that voice message before my parents could ever hear about it. So my parents never really knew about this. And yeah, <laughs> and that's the end of the story time. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, I never got in trouble for this because my parents never found out because I tried every way to make sure that they wouldn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, now when I think back on it, I think I overreacted a lot, but I mean, that was me back then. I don't think I'd acted that way in the situation nowadays, but still. Um, if you guys did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes on the weekends, then make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And yes, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!